Hey guys, Cloud here, and today we will be going over how to turn your digits into custom font characters. And this is very useful for a couple different applications where you may want to use a scoreboard and turn it into either a picture or just make the numbers look a little bit cooler than just the default Minecraft numbers uh, without actually replacing the default Minecraft numbers. As you can see here in my action bar, you see that it says 69 with default Minecraft display. And that's just pulling from a scoreboard that's on the right called test. And then it's also saying it with these custom digits. And this is actually something done completely in a resource pack. Uh, and then just modifying a command and it will not take that long to explain so in a update at some point i think 1.16 or 17 they added a or maybe 1.15 they added a thing that gets added onto tell raw components called font and what font lets you do is it lets you specify which font file is used to translate the text and essentially what that means is you can now have kind of infinite amount of Unicode characters. If you've seen this before, there is a way for you to take Unicode or the default Unicode characters and change them into something else. And before you could only do it on Minecraft colon default, but since they added this font modifier, you can have custom namespaces that are only used here and not in the default or the uh, chat. So if I go ahead and show you guys the resource pack, the resource pack is in the description. Uh, you can just download it, take a look, see how it works. But essentially, it's got assets, and then it has a namespace called dig2pick, just to represent that you can use a custom namespace for this. And then inside that, it has textures, which just have the different digits, 0 through 9. And then in the font, there is a file called uh, digits and default. Uh, digits is the one that we're using. There will not be a default file. Uh, so you can also custom namespace out the individual font files inside the namespace. So if you wanted to have different colors, you could have different font files that this thing references. So essentially the font file is just a JSON element that lists different Unicode characters and tells them what uh, texture to use for the Unicode characters or how to display them. So the default zero Unicode character is u slash 0030. And you can figure these out by just Googling uh, Unicode for number zero, and that will show up. And through obvious logic and uh, trust that the people who came up with Unicode are not crazy, uh, the next one for one is just changing this to a one and all the way to nine, right? <laughs> so it just goes zero through nine. And all you have to do is respecify the file. So this is saying use the texture that is in the namespace dig2pick, and it's using the texture called dig0.png. Okay, this automatically assumes that you are inside the textures folder, by the way, so this will not be able to access things not in the textures folder. Now ascent is kind of its vertical position. And height is the height of the image, the image could be as wide as you want it to be, but height needs to be either the exact height or bigger than the exact height. Uh, let me think if I, I might begin that wrong, but by principle, you should make it exactly the same. Uh, you can experiment if you end up getting a white square in your text output, then you did something wrong and you can check your game output log. So then you just copy that for all of them. And then now when you run the scoreboard objective display and you apply the digit font, it just transforms that six and nine that show up as uh, slash U E zero zero three zero or zero zero three six. And you transform that into the texture that is digit six. And that's really all there is to it. Now, I know that this is a pretty short video, but a lot of people didn't know that this was even a thing. I didn't even know that this was a thing until I had to look into it and see is this possible? And then I figured out, well, yeah, they actually added this cool font component. So if you found this helpful or cool, leave a like and let me know what you want to see next or what you're interested in. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.